last night's dream. Waking up into the place that I was dreaming about, where the entrance to the home that I now reside within grew smaller and smaller and smaller the more we tried to look at it as if there was no way that we actually were ever able to get in the way that we always thought we had. Then, right out in front, a vast open ocean full of ice and snow with giant penguins having a coloration the likes of which had never been seen. My brother getting carried up out of the water on the back of a giant whale. Where the depths unknown that would cause one to question their footing in such deep waters was itself quenched by the brilliant colors. And the joyous nature of the scene itself. Then horses were like little stuffed animals that rubbed their head up against my thigh as I had become... Something proportional to how giant they were when I was a child, now in size to them. I then think of things like the world where when the world was born. Did it want to be a baby? Though, isn't it childish in nature for a thing to try to not be what it is? Then the more the baby it becomes, the more that it says that it's not being a baby about being a baby. Then I think about the saying, that's like stealing candy from a baby. Where what does it then mean to be a baby if candy itself is easily taken from one? Then, what is it that would take candy from a baby? Would we call this thing that would take candy from a baby something other than one? For who is it that likes candy? Then 
I think about pleasurable tastes, pleasurable sounds, and I wonder about what it is that would take candy from a baby, but then discard it itself Then what is it about a baby's needing changing? Where... The longer that something goes unchanged, the more that what is unchanged becomes noticed. But only when what it is that we're speaking about has something outrightly noticeable about it that tells not only it but the things around it that there is some immutable evidence to the notion that it cannot change itself then this thing unchanged is what becomes more noticeable than truly what it is that would be said about changing itself. Then what does this have to do with taking candy from a baby? Where are the things that call things babies themselves having the candy then taken from them? Then they themselves are like these things that have something noticeable that is to be changed, but then saying that they have an inability to change themselves where this this inability calls attention to the notion that this thing is a baby where then if the candy itself was eaten by what it was that was taking it from the baby then would they themselves be above the baby Or would they then not be called out for being just as childish as everything else?
then according to what the changing is wouldn't necessarily be a requisitioning of something that is out of the baby's hands in its being able to do. Then is its being called a baby? Though if things are in a state of lower and higher, (sighs) by their taking or not of candy... Where the lowest has not. For it is not allowed. And the highest has not. For if it does, then is it not seen then as no longer what is above then I think of this in terms of where in one's taking of candy is then a becoming of either or either in then their Crying nature to possess more. What is then demanding on what it is that moves to possess just in like nature as then what it is that moves that doesn't allow
where the thing that actually then stinks is then something what has nothing sweet at all about it. What then makes the thing that tells something to cover up its baby parts as much of a baby in its being than the screams of a baby itself where screaming itself is something that is unpalatable then as these things which have nothing sweet are then what are unpalatable themselves then do they not come from a baby then are they not just as much so a baby then things that only want things that are sweet aren't sweet in their procurement of this sweetness Then I think of the world. And I think of the world's sweetness in these terms. And I think then what aspect about it is the baby? And what aspect about it is the baby's screams, one like the parent, one like the child, where the baby's screams to get what it wants, but the more it screams, the more the screams themselves then put baby parts which themselves are this apparent unwillingness to change or inability to change, which then reinforces these notions of sweet and sour, of things that are in your face and apparent to be taken care of, which then stinks. Then, who is it that
has a little sweetness. But then isn't like a baby in there being able to get things without screaming. Then they themselves are sweet. Then the things that go unchanged become unnoticed and not in your face, not apparent. Then do these things become more so the unapparent parent to what would be called a parent if parents were screams and what it is that screamed was a baby then these things being neither of those then are the sweet things that take candy from babies then they themselves don't stink like one in the parts that are noticed are ones that have some sort of change or not that is unnoticeable. Then it doesn't stink. Then what is sweet? Then what is candy? Where these things then can extend beyond themselves into being multiple characters, both here and far, as to what then these things are. in regards to the habits and characteristics of what it is that people possess wherein what is their exclamation of their right to possess Where then, when and how do they acquire, contain and maintain these things? Then in acquisition and preposition. is then the change of their position in regards to either being 
a baby or its screams. Perhaps something that should be covered up that then in doing just becomes something that stinks. More and more in your face.